Definitely. Was Gary Yavorsky too harsh in his approach? I don't think he was harsh at all, to be honest. Like, if you really watch Gary's... Oh, fuck him. Sorry. I don't know him. I don't know him, though. I've never met him, so I don't know. But like, um, He's another one. He's another one. But watching his speech... Um, Gary Yavorsky does not have prejudice. I, people are not going to like what we're going to say here. Just so say it. Just say this it. Is what just I, say no, no, no. I, let me, let, I'm going to say it. <laughs> Do your, I just said it like 10 minutes ago or five minutes ago, but you have to do your own research and you have to be critical of people. And Gary Yarosky has on a couple of occasions, and Gary, if you're watching, like, come talk to somebody. I doubt, I doubt if he's watching us. If somebody <laughs> may, I'm sure somebody's going to send it to him. Um, yeah. Like, you have, you have fucked up and you haven't addressed certain issues in black and brown communities, specifically that deal with, with issues of, of, of justice. So, um, so that's, that's my take. I just don't fucks with him. Black lives matter. When compared to whites, white people suck. White privilege is real. But the existence of white privilege and racism, these aren't valid excuses to support the premeditated murder, the rape, Slavery and baby stealing of billions of cows, pigs, chickens, turkeys, and other animals every single year. The American flag, it's about as useful as a used piece of toilet paper after somebody had explosive diarrhea. The police force, it's about as useful as explosive diarrhea. 99% of cops harassing bullies. They've always been. 99% of vegans are pro-human rights. Conversely, and with pure hypocrisy, 99% of human rights supporters are anti-animal, anti-vegan, pro-speciesism. This is why I no longer worship at the altar of humanity, why I no longer lend my voice to human rights issues, and why I firmly believe that Human rights is the number one impediment to the advancement of animal liberation. I know this is confusing to everybody because everybody worships at the altar of humanity. Even vegans continue to be speciesist and value human life more than animal life. In the next few months, you're going to see a lot of town hall meetings, panel discussions about injustice. You're going to see a lot of BLM activists, LGBTQT activists, women's rights activists, anti-classist. They might even extend an olive branch and let an animal liberationist attend the roundtable discussion. What's going to be enforced at this discussion, you can't be opposed to gay marriage. You can't be homophobic heterosexist. You can't say that women aren't qualified to run a corporation, that they don't deserve equal pay. You can't claim that domestic abuse is okay. You won't be allowed to say that black people aren't qualified to run corporations, to be general managers of sports teams and head coaches. You won't be allowed to tell racist jokes, use the N-word, the R-word, the C-word. But you know what will be allowed? The oppression of animals. You'll be allowed to be a meat, dairy, or egg eater. In fact, if that discussion goes on long enough and people get hungry, they'll be allowed to actually bring dead animals to the table. You'll be allowed to eat meat, cheese, milk, and eggs. Animals always get left out when humans are discussed. And that's why I no longer support human rights issues. If somebody wants to kill the four cops that murdered George Floyd, by the way, because they should be executed, they should be beheaded. Somebody should have dragged them out of their homes and executed them live on TV. If somebody does that, I will still be the first white person in America to publicly support that justifiable homicide. To the people out there who claim that I'm a racist, sexist, whatever slurs and insults people want to throw my way. Fuck you. 
I've made a sober, conscious decision not to worship humans anymore. And before most of you were even born, I was preaching against racism. 1992, I did a rap song called The Declaration of Misrepresentation. Look it up on YouTube. It was produced by the Funky Bass Team, the same people that brought Eminem into the mix. The rap's okay. I suck. They went with Eminem. They made the right decision. I'm not trying to promote my rap. I'm trying to show you where I came from. All of my speeches, I always condemned racism, sexism, and heterosexism. I used those terms in the speeches, juxtaposed them next to speciesism to explain suffering and injustice. Open up your eyes to the true victims on this planet, the beings that continue to be murdered by the billion every single year, by the million every single day and live a vegan lifestyle. Then we'll get to human rights issues. See, I don't like the game everyone's set up. Let's do humans first, and then we'll get to the animals. I say, fuck you, get to the animals first, and then we'll get to the humans. Peace out.